So now let's talk through what's going on in each individual organ during these different states. We just ate a meal, this nice sandwich over here. This sandwich has a mixture of carbs, proteins, and fats. So we'll eat the meal, it's gonna go through its digestion and absorption process. So we know that the glucose and the amino acids from that meal are gonna be absorbed from the small intestine and they're gonna go straight to the liver because the liver gets the first pass of nutrients. The pancreas is gonna notice that the concentration of glucose in the blood has increased. So that increase in blood glucose concentration is gonna stimulate the pancreas to secrete insulin. So what's gonna happen now? Insulin is going to stimulate glycogenesis in the liver. So the liver is gonna take some of that glucose that it just absorbed and turn it into glycogen for storage. Insulin is also gonna stimulate some lipogenesis because again, we have only a limited capacity to store glycogen. So excess glucose will also get, then get shuttled towards turn, um, lipogenesis and be turned into fat. Um, insulin is also gonna stimulate protein synthesis. Uh, insulin is an anabolic or building hormone. Now, uh, the, uh, so the liver is going to keep some of the glucose but then it's also gonna spit out a whole bunch of glucose to go around to the rest of the body. What happens to that glucose? A whole bunch of that glucose is gonna get taken, is gonna be get, is going to be used by the brain, because remember the brain preference is glucose as its fuel source. Glucose is gonna be taken up by the liver, and that's gonna be in response to insulin. Insulin is going to stimulate. I said liver, I meant to say muscle, pardon me. Um, insulin is going to stimulate the muscle cells to take in glucose from the bloodstream. And as the muscle is taking in glucose, it can take that glucose and turn it into glycogen for storage, so glycogenesis. That glucose will also be taken up by the adipose tissue. Insulin is also stimulating the adipose tissue to take up um, glucose and, for storage and uh, utilization by the adipose tissue. That adipose tissue is going to take that glucose and it is going to build it and turn it into fat, so lipogenesis. Um, and then from there, our adipose tissue is going to store those lipids from the lipogenesis, it's gonna store those lipids as triglycerides. Now the fatty acids that we ate, for, that we got from our meal, they don't, they aren't part of this first pass of nutrients to the liver. They go through a different pass where they actually go out to the body first before going back to the liver. So here's the fatty acids from our meal. And those fatty acids are then eventually gonna get, end up getting taken up by the liver after a few other events first. So the liver can take up those fatty acids. The liver can then additionally excrete or send out triglycerides out to the body. And those triglycerides can, will primarily be taken up by the adipose tissue. So those are the things that go on during the fed state, these zero to three hours after having eaten a meal.